In 2008, I dedicated my teaching year to something called variable. And I really want to make sure that it, it stays out there in the forefront of the knowledge of human design because it's so deeply important to the development of what it is to be a nine-centered being. Everything about the early development of human design was rooted in type. That is, through type we find our strategy and authority. That is, we find a way to operate correctly on this plane. But that's the beginning, in essence, of a lifelong process. That is, a process of deconditioning. And beyond that deconditioning, the discovery that comes when one is operating according to a strategy that is not, in fact, mental. Yet at the same time, human design is about differentiation. It is about the possibility that lies in each and every one of you to live out a truly unique purpose on this plane. And not something that's a byproduct of uh, fantasy or, or, you know, all kinds, of, uh, all kinds of fictions. It's really about what's mechanically practical for you in this life. Variable. Variable is about consciousness. It is about the potential in each and every one of us to have a unique cognitive purpose on this plane. It's about the possibility that's there in each and every human being to be able to fulfill a unique purpose and a unique purpose that is a unique purpose fulfilled through mind. I guess this is one of the things you have to come to grips with, with understanding what it is to be like us. We're a binary consciousness. It's something truly to grasp about us. What we've been doing is that we've been trying to operate as a single consciousness. We have been giving to the mind, to the personality, the responsibility of both dictating the nature of the life and trying to explore life at the same time intellectually. It's deeply confusing and leads to what we call the not-self. It leads to a life that is very difficult. When you come to human design, the first thing that you get to discover is the binary nature of your design. And in understanding that, understanding the potential of binary consciousness, your strategy and authority is a way of tapping into your form principle consciousness. What moves you on this plane? The body is the life. And the moment that you're operating according to your strategy and authority, you do open up a window. You open up a window of the possibility that's there on the personality side. And the possibility that's there on the personality side is awareness, is awakeness. It is all of the things that are part of what the so-called New Age is looking for. It's about the fulfillment of the possibility of the other side of our binary consciousness, mind, mind. And the mind as outer authority, not inner authority, but outer authority. An outer authority that's there to express your unique perspective, that's there to offer to consciousness and to the consciousness field a unique and original conceptualization of what it is to be on this plane. It's what we are, in fact, about. The homogenized world is about everybody agreeing or disagreeing, just a flat binary of this and that. Very little gray, mostly just black and white. It's the way homogenization works. Everything about the possibility of a unique being is the unique expression of awareness. Not to simply repeat, not simply to be forced to repeat, whether culturally, socially, whatever the case may be, but to have the opportunity to be able to express what is one's true perspective on this plane. Everything about us, everything about being a nine-centered being, everything that I know about the nature of being, is that we are designed to be cognitive. And variable is the roadmap to your cognition. It's the roadmap. Not only does it tell you what it is, but in essence, it gives you the map to how to attain it. You know, when you look at variable, you get to see these four arrows. And by the way, if you don't know your variable or you don't have an MMAI program, which is mostly restricted to students in human design, then there's a very easy way for you to find out your variable. If you look on the left-hand side of the front page here at the website, under resources, you'll see a variable calculator. It's a free service. And you can just put in your data and get your variable so that you understand what its basic construct is. 
If you look at the variable grid, you see that it's made up of 16 combinations of these four arrows, and that these arrows are either going to point to the left or they're going to point to the right. Everything about our cognition, everything about being a nine-centered being is that not only are we a binary consciousness, but our binary consciousness operates in a very, very profound binary itself. That is, the difference between leftness, which is something that is rooted in our past evolutionary program, and rightness, which is really about where we're going in an evolutionary process. The difference between being strategic, which is left, and being receptive, which is right. Being active, which is left. Being passive, which is right. Being focused, which is left. Being peripheral, which is right. We are all combinations of these. If you look at the grid of the 16 variables, you will see that only the extremes, the all left variable and the all right variable, are the only variables that don't have a mix of either leftness and rightness in one combination or another. These arrows, and where these arrows are derived from, this is where you find this road map. If you look on the design side, or in terms of the variable, if you look on the left side, if you look at the upper arrow, this is derived from the design Sun Earth. And this is a primary focus for us. This is where we find primary health system, your dietary regimen, the key to digestion. That if you digest correctly, then you're going to nourish your brain system in a way that is truly healthy for you because it nourishes what makes you different. It nourishes the sensory capacity of your brain. It nourishes that potential in you to establish a platform for successful self-reflected consciousness. And that arrow can be to the left or the right. That is left brain function, which is active and busy, and right brain function, which is passive and receptive. If you go below the arrow, just below that on the left-hand side, the second arrow, this is derived from the design nodes. And it is the nodes that truly are the gateway for us in understanding the nature of our physical lives. It is the nodes that guide us along our trajectory in this life. And the grounding of this trajectory is what we find in the design nodes, because in the design nodes, what we have is something called environment. Not only are we unique in the way in which we are intended to digest food, the conditions or circumstances of taking food into our body, but our uniqueness is something that is also related to specific environment. An environment not in the sense of place, but truly in the sense of environment. We each have a correct environment. Both our digestive possibilities, our environmental possibilities, are part of the knowledge of variable. It's part of the knowledge of primary health system. On the personality side, if you go to the personality nodes, the personality nodes are the possibility that arises out of being in the correct environment. Because if you're in the correct environment, then you're going to see what you're here to see. Because what you find on the personality side and the personality nodes is your perspective. We're all here to have a unique perspective, a unique framework through which we see the world from an environment that's correct for us, based on a brain system that operates correctly because it's nourished correctly, all taking place in a holistic life that operates according to its strategy and authority. The final step, the personality Sun Earth, this is all about conceptualizing. Here is the possibility, the true possibility of awareness and the arrival at passenger consciousness. Human design, variable, ultimately leads to passenger consciousness when in essence we truly are visitors on this plane, taking a ride in these extraordinary bioforms, not here to be identified with the ride, but to be entertained by what one experiences, the vast phenomena of what it is to be a conscious, self-reflected creature on this plane. 
And yet the beauty of all that, the potential that lies there in variable, in the knowledge, in strategy, in authority, begins with you, begins with your readiness to embark on what is truly an extraordinary experiment, to leave behind homogenization, to do more than have a better life, to be able to have an aware life, an aware life as yourself. It's quite a thing. And by the way, there is in the Jovian Archive TV section, also on the left here on the front page, you can gain access to the free TV section. And in that, you will find that there is a free film on variable. There's also a complete series of um, television productions that I did explaining each of the 16 variables. And they're also available in the Jovian TV section. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little insight into variable and this first of our Saturday screenings. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.